Hey class, so today we're gonna learn how to make a blending stump, one of these, with some basic supplies that you might have at home. So right here I have a sandpaper um, sponge, if you will. You can use a nail file. If you have sandpaper, you can use that. Um, some tape, a pen, and a really thin paintbrush. You can use anything that you have, but I try to use something really thin to get my roll started. All right, let's get going. So the first step that you wanna do is you want to fold your paper. I try to fold roughly where my blending stump will be about um, three inches in height. So I go ahead and I'm using drawing paper because drawing paper is, tends to be a little bit thicker than um, copy paper. So it'll give me a, a better um, fold and then it will also hold up better when I'm going to blend. So now that I have it done, what I'm going to do is, I'm not gonna cut with the scissor, but I'm going to rip my paper along the line I folded. I want these fibers in the paper to begin to be exposed as I create my blending stump. So here you can see um, the fibers are kind of starting to show, right? So as you create your blending stump, you want to make sure that you have everything rolled real tight. So I'm going to use this paintbrush right here and I'm gonna to begin to roll the paper with it. Just to kind of get the, the blending stump okay with being rolled, the paper okay with being rolled. So I'm gonna just come in and I'm just gonna roll the whole entire thing with it, just like this. Just keep it going. It doesn't have to be super neat right now. Your idea is that you want it to just kind of be rolled. So that when I come, my paper is okay with being rolled just like this. I'm gonna open it up. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to get this roll even tighter. So I like to do a little, a little tiny fold, like a really small fold, as small as I can possibly get it um, to start off. And then after I go through and do the little fold, I try to roll from my fold. So I try to roll where my fold is kind of helping me to create that first little roll. And I just, I'm pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling the entire time. So now that I got somewhat of my first roll, I'm just gonna keep going just like this. And then I'm just gonna keep allowing my paper to be rolled as tight as I possibly can get it. And it's okay if you have a little hole on the inside, like you'll see I have a little pinhole, that's fine. And then you wanna also pay attention to which end is your clean cut edge, which edge is your um, one with the fibers of the paper hanging out. So now that I am pretty rolled, rolled pretty tightly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tape and I'm going to wrap it around my blending stump to hold it in place, just like this. It's like that, and I'll take another piece of tape and I'll do it on the other side. Just like, just like this. So now I have it flat on both sides, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna begin pushing something through on the one end so that it can bring up my blending stump to the point on the other end. So I begin pushing just like this. Notice I push down, it kind of goes down. I begin pushing and I start pushing outward just like this 
As I push my pen in, what happens is the tip gets pushed out. And I just kind of keep going like that, just like that. And so if I don't want it to kind of just easily slide back in, one of the things I can do is I can kind of just fold these edges in so that it doesn't, the paper doesn't kind of just fold out. So I'm like just stuffing these edges in. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll also tuck them. Once I get that edge in, I'll kind of fold it in, go like this, so that now it looks like this underneath. Okay, so it'll look like something like that with everything stuffed in. So now that I have that done, I pretty much have my blending stump already made, right? It's made, it's pretty much usable. What I want to do now is I want to kind of, where I have the fibers exposed, I want to kind of give it a little rough once around. And so all I'm doing here is sanding down my blending stump, evening it out so that all ridges that are in it are being taken care of. This is also another way we clean our blending stumps. For instance, this one is a little bit dirty right here. What I would just do is come around just like this. And I just begin to clean it and notice it's starting to clean off, right? So it's the same thing with this. And then voila, we have a nice blending stump that we created that we can use for designing and drawing our artwork, okay? So guys, have at it, try your own, and let me know how it goes.